Good morning. Good morning. Once again, good to have you with me today on some good seats. Psalm uh, 108, Job chapter 5, and Acts chapters 10 and 11. Uh, psalm 108, what a great psalm. Verses 3 and 4 particularly are wonderful to contemplate. Listen to what they say. I will praise you, O Lord, among the peoples, and I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your mercy is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the clouds. Well, the first thing that strikes me is, is that the decision that is made to give praise to the Lord. I will praise you. Uh, and I know, I think you know too, it's not a matter of how we may feel, but praise is based on God's worthiness to be praised. It's a decision that we make. Then, then there's the arena in which he is going to give praise to the Lord, uh, to declare God's goodness where? Among the people and even the nations. That's followed by a reason for the praise that he's going to offer. It's because of mercy and truth. Mercy is not getting what we justly deserve. Praise God for that. Uh, that's his mercy. But it's mercy and truth. Uh, the result of hearing the truth of the word of God and then acting upon it. These are sufficient reasons to give God praise. And and we can give uh, uh for, because without his mercy, where would we be? And, the, and if his truth were not there, we would be lost in our own ignorance. Oh, praise God for mercy and truth. Uh, just how great is his mercy? Well, David says it's higher than the heavens. And I'm not sure at all exactly what that means. I, I think the thing that it really strikes me is that it means that there is a, a, a sufficient amount of mercy to be given uh, in proportion to our need, and it's not going to run short. There's enough mercy that we can have uh, and experience that mercy on a consistent basis. The, the implication is that whatever the amount of mercy that w is needed, uh, there is an abundance of it. Praise the Lord for that. Uh, no wonder, I, as I think about that, no wonder David praised the Lord because of that realization. And, and that's something that we can give praise to the Lord to for as well, because we can have that same realization. We know what has been uh, taking place in our life. We know where we were. We know what it took to get us back to God. And because of that mercy, we can give praise to the Lord. And he, he David knew and experienced that throughout his life. And the truth, well, it's mercy and truth. Truth reaches to the clouds. David understood that the mercy of God was so great that if it were to be measured, uh, well, it just couldn't measure it. It would extend above the heavens and his truth would reach above the clouds. God is exalted above the heavens. His glory does fill all the earth. And the goal of history is that God might be made known and be honored for what he is and who he is. And so what do we do? Well, we give praise. We sing praise to the Lord for his mercy and for his truth. For his truth, his truth, the word of God that has penetrated our hearts and lives. Praise the Lord. Sufficient reason to give praise to the Lord today. So join with me as we give thanks and praise to the Lord for his mercy and his truth. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today, I pray.